Dr. Bin Lin from the Nanjing University of Science and Technology. The topic is the photon scattering single amplification in gold level particle negation towards the fast infection screening. Welcome, Dr. Lin. Good evening, everyone at China side, and good afternoon, uh, everyone at UK side. I'm very glad to make a brief presentation of our recent work in front of you. Uh, I'm Bing Ni, a lecturer from Nanjing University of Science and Technology. Uh, my topic is photon scattering signal amplification in gold viral particle ligation towards heart infection screening. Uh, the main content is divided into uh, three parts, including in introduction, virus like particle detection method, and sum uh, summary. Uh, here is a brief uh, background uh, introduction. Uh, as you know, virus pose a huge threat to public um, health. Uh, we can sense that clearly because we are we are now still facing uh, the terrible influence of COVID-19 pandemic. So uh, the sensing technology to detect them rapidly uh, is of great importance. Fortunately, uh, we uh, many virus detection methods have been developed, uh, including our PCR, which is the most uh, widely used one, and uh, Serological test, uh, nano integrated biosensors uh, based on resonators, uh, sonic crystals, nano wines, and the interpreters. Surface uh, plasma based sensors, optical fiber sensors, SCM, TM, and uh, optical microscopy, and so on. Uh, know that optical microscopy uh, imaging technology generally have the obvious advantages of non-destructive testing, simple operation, and low cost. So they are more straightforward and show potential for fast uh, virus uh, screen application. But know that uh, the feature size of virus is usually smaller than the optical diffraction limit in conventional microscopy. And its living ambient is uh, always complex. Moreover, <clears throat> its optical contrast with background is comparatively weak. All the above and uh, even extra problems uh, make virus detection very difficult uh, using optical microscopies, uh, which need to find solutions to overcome. Uh, here are some examples at the right side. Uh, it is well knowing that when electromagnetic wave uh, with specific wavelengths uh, propagate to um, matter nanostructures, maximum collective oscillation of electrons in matter uh, nanoparticle with incident field uh, will generate um, resulting sub-wavelength optical confinement and uh, significant field enhancement. Uh, this phenomenon greatly enhances photon matter interaction and photon photon interaction, uh, which has been employed uh, for a lot of uh, applications, especially in the field of sensing. As shown in right figures, uh, the general principle is that when analyte is added to the matter uh, nanostructure, uh, absorption scattering of the incident light and the resonance um, situation are changed. Based on such difference, we can get the desired information by further calculation. Therefore, plasmonic nanostructure is a good platform uh, for sensing application. Uh, on the other hand, to realize a uh, virus action, optional optical uh, microscopic system is also important. Uh, the polarization parametric in direct microscope imaging, so-called PIMI, uh, which is developed by our research group, uh, modulates the polarization of uh, illumination and uh, fits the variation of polarization states of scattered photons 
enabling identification of uh, diverse and structures and uh, substances. Uh, here are part of the related publications. Uh, more detailedly, as showing the uh, schematic picture by rotating the polarization of the incident light, uh, we can collect a set of um, scattering imaging on the different condition, which contain a related feature information owing to the interaction of light and sample. Then by mathematic coupling, uh, we can obtain the uh, polarization parametric images, including sine D and phi. Here is a comparison between a beam image and uh, a conventional across beam image. Uh, we can see that beam image contains more detailed information and has a higher resolution. So uh, we uh, conclude the uh, advantages of beam uh, image, including low cost, fast speed, easy operation, and simple system. A high resolution, rich information, and it is uh, sensitive to uh, structural features with high polarization response. Besides, it is totally compatible with leveling um, operation, including fluorescent leveling and dyeing. Because of the above mentioned uh, merits, we attempt to uh, to detect the virus using uh, pinning method and plasmonic structures. So uh, the operating principle of this of this virus detection method is it, showing this uh, figure uh, by introducing the abrupt um, change of reflectivity at the virus using gold nanoparticle with shape of sphere or cubo and so on. Uh, the strength of the scattering signal can be magnified. And over the initial symmetrical scattering distribution of gold particle is very uh, causing symmetry broken. And theoretically, virus with different shape, material, size uh, will have uh, different scattering distributions. They have strict correspondence. Therefore, uh, we can get the virus information by calculating such a difference. And by using deep learning algorithm, or we can improve the prediction accuracy of virus particles. And here in this figure, from the feature signature uh, at uh, specific directions extracted from uh, beam images, or we can see the difference uh, clearly. Actually, the upper figures are symmetric and the bottom figures are asymmetric. So if we can see the symmetry of feature, uh, feature signatures, uh, we can make a preliminary uh, conclusion that there is a virus existed. And uh, with uh, assisted by the rigorous different calculation, uh, we can make virus clarification. And finally, we can do post-processing uh, with deep learning. and uh, make virus confirmation with high accuracy and fast speed. So based on the operating principle of this virus detection method, we show the uh, experiment flow here, uh, mainly including five um, procedures, uh, sample preparation, here we use a much more moderate uh, virus and the virus, and then beam mm, imaging uh, to get raw imaging with uh, different polarization angles of instant light, and then data calculation uh, to get polarization parametric images.
then we compare the TM or SEM image, images with the experiment results to evaluate the effectiveness of the proposed uh, virus detection method. At the right hand, uh, it is a whole study procedure with visualized uh, images. Uh, we mixed uh, the gold nanoparticle into the endonos solution and then drop them onto the silicon substrate. <clears throat> and then we can get the PIM image using wide field uh, imaging system. Also, we have its uh, SCM images. For SCM images, we can find three uh, kinds of uh, particles, mainly uh, single nan uh, gold nanoparticle, double uh, gold nanoparticles, and uh, gold nanoparticles with uh, virus. And from um, PIM images, we can find that uh, each kind of particle has its specific polarization parametric distribution. To confirm the particle information, we must further analysis the PIM images. Here are the obtained uh, sandy images for three uh, different particles confirmed by SCM choose and <clears throat> Along the red dot line, uh, we extract the feature uh, signature as shown in blue curves. Um, and then we compare them with simulation results in uh, red lines. It is seen that because of the noise, the trend of asymmetry and symmetry is not clear, uh, which means that the prediction accuracy uh, will decrease notably. Then we use deep learning master to denoise them. And the denoise and the simulated results are showing in the second and third column, respectively. The final, the final column, column are the comparison. From the comparison, we can, uh, we can see after denoising the feature curves match well. Or with simulation results indicating that using the symmetry, asymmetry, and scattering intensity to identify gold virus is uh, possible. Uh, note that the above area location signature extraction and comparison are performed manually, uh, which is a bit time consuming and uh, with low accuracy. Then we try to do these procedures using deep learning method. So the procedure flow is shown here. And the training process is based on the original PIM images. So now the uh, SEM and TEM image act as a ground truth to produce the announced PIM images. Based on the images, based on the images, and the first RCNN techniques, gold viral particle uh, detection from the test beam, from test beam image can be achieved with uh, high accuracy. Here is the result. Uh, from the result, uh, the particle category and its probability are both labeled in the image. Um, actually, the original PIM image is in some cases, uh, as shown here, the original PIM images is silver degraded by noise. Uh, even after the noising, we still cannot get uh, distinguish the particle type with convincing evidence, uh, just like the second and fourth columns. But by using uh, this present, present uh, method here, the identification performance is much better as shown in this table. Here, the accuracy for uh, the accuracy for uh, single nano, uh, gold nanoparticle and uh, gold nanoparticle um, with a uh, virus are higher than uh, 0 0.9. And uh, so that uh, the accuracy for double gold nanoparticle is a bit low, 
only uh, zero point eight. Because the number of double um, gonad particles in this sample is very small, deep training network uh, can learn enough feature of uh, this structure, uh, its accuracy can be improved easily. Then we try to use a uh, gold nano disk array to, <clears throat> to do the virus action. Compiled with, uh, okay. Compiled with uh, randomly loca located gold nano particles before, the event advantages are shown here. Uh, it has a uniform polarization parametric distribution. Because we use four nanodots on square pattern as a sensing channel, uh, it's obviously it has uh, increased possibility of capturing virus. And because of the uni uh, uniform distribution, it is also beneficial to post processing by deep learning. And it can be fabricated with uh, massively with low cost. And uh, uh, the array structure is also a potential for high uh, support to virus hacking. Now here is the structure and fabrication as uh, expected. The PIMI images show a uniform uh, feature. And at the right hand, it is the fabrication flow. All the devices are fabricated uh, in JWNC, uh, in University of uh, Glasgow. So the results and discussion then, uh, the operating principle is the same as the uh, previous uh, method. Based on the symmetry, we can form this uh, virus preliminarily. Uh, then I will give you some uh, key points of the detection method. First, uh, high yield sensitivity and uh, uh, richer information using key images. Enhance scattering intensity and contrast with background using matter dot array and improved prediction accuracy with reduced processing time using deep learning and uh, detecting the capability of actual load concentrations of virus or even single virus particle in theory. Also, there is a lot of a uh, lot of work uh, need to do in the next stage to improve our method. Mm. Uh, first, a uh, plasmonic uh, structure design to further enhance the contrast and scattering sensitivity. Uh, note that um, we now we just use the simple uh, structures like uh, nanoparticle or nano disk. Maybe complex uh, plasmonic structure will make the difference. Next, uh, classification for different virus at one time uh, and uh, high super detecting and parallel experiments use another method for comparison. Then the acknowledgement. Uh, we, we would like to thank our collaborators and the uh, nations. And finally, thank you for your attention. Thank you for your talk. And any question? OK, yeah. Can you maybe? So uh, it's a very good talk. Um, Dr. Li, could you show your setup or, or, may, or maybe I'll ask a very stupid question. <laughs> could you uh, show your setup of PIMI system? Okay. We place a quarter wave plate before the analyze and the CCD. Can you see my screen? Can you see my screen? I cannot hear you. 
the, there is a quarter wave plate before the analyze. Why we need this this one before the CCD and the analyze? Maybe I can answer this question. Yeah, maybe Dr. Uh, Professor Zhu is familiar with, uh, with this uh, field. Um, the reason we squash the uh, heavy modulation, which is too polarized, into a so, sort of halfway modulation by using the cold wave uh, plate in front of the analyzer. The reason is um, uh, you know, some of the location when you doing full modulation, um, the lower part is falling into noise. So then modulation modulation curve actually you couldn't got a full modulation curve. You couldn't got a full periodical variation because the lower part is falling into the the, the, the uh, sense of noise. Uh, then therefore the measurement is not accurate. Uh, so then we, if we squash, uh, if we uh, shrink the modulation by using a, a, a wave plate uh, in between, uh, then the intensity variation could be, um, you know, halfway high or halfway low. So it, it never comes into the uh, noise background. That's why. Have I answered your question? Thank you so much for this nice talk. Uh, I have a question. Firstly, uh, I have two questions actually. The first question is uh, what's the dimensions of the nanoparticles uh, you are using in your study? And uh, here's a two, uh, here's a follow up question is what's the spatial resolution of your PME image system and what limit the spatial resolution of your image system? Thank you. For the first question, uh, we used um, about uh, 100 nanometer diameter nanoparticle. And uh, uh, the second uh, question, uh, I, here I have a, I have a slide to show that. Yeah, here is uh, uh, in the at the right side. Uh, here is a comparison between our PME imaging and uh, conventional microscopy images. Uh, we can see uh, at the right, right corner. Uh, yeah. Uh, we we uh, we said uh, that the resolution is about uh, 40, 42 nanometers. Uh, 